Hey guys, welcome back to Startup Central. Today we're gonna to have a slightly different setup because my microphone broke, but I wanna to talk to you about a question that I've been receiving uh, very constantly, which is, is it safe to put your money in yielding platforms, like for example, Nexo, Voyager, Celsius, and um, this is what we're gonna be talking about today. And uh, if you are new here, my name is Mauricio, welcome to Startup Central. In here we talk about how to properly invest your money like a Silicon Valley investor would. So uh, welcome and uh, let's go to the video. So um, we know what has happened with Celsius and if you don't know about that, you can check the video over there. Uh, basically Celsius has not gone broken, broke yet, but it's in the process of uh, potentially being liquidated. Now here's what happened. Uh, they invested money in a token which is called Stake ETH and Stake ETH DPEG from ETH and then uh, they're not able to repay people who have their money in there. Uh, so that started a cascade of problems and issues and right now the second large one, well the second large one is actually Three Arrows Capital which is a big fund that invested in a lot of projects in the space and a big number of those were platforms that uh, were supposed to yield investors money. Now, one of the largest ones where 3R Capitals had money is, uh, is called Voyager. So Voyager and Nexo and BlockFi and Celsius are almost the same thing, uh, with of course some difference. Um, in my, you know, what I, I have been able to research, the most stable one is Nexo so far. Uh, but Voyager just had a, a big issue whereby they also cannot repay uh, investors their money because a lot of that money to the tune of $750 million was sent to Three Arrows Capital, which is basically also in huge problems and are not able to repay their investors. So if you had money there, then probably your money is frozen as well. So um, what about the other two big ones, Nexo and BlockFi? Well, uh, BlockFi just announced that they received a $350 million investment to be able to uh, become liquid in case uh, customers decided to actually take their money out of the platform. While that's a good amount of money, I'm not sure it would, if it would cover the entire, entire investment uh, amount that you know, people have put in that platform, but at least it's something. So what about Nexo? Well, Nexo uh, they opt, they had an insurance, which, which used to be, I think, around $350 million uh, to cover people if, you know, if they had a big problem like the current, like the ones we are currently seeing elsewhere. And they opt that to a, a, almost double. So I think that they currently have $650 million to insure people that if they want to take money out of the platform, they will be covered. Now. Here's what I'm doing, guys. Uh, it's not the same to invest your money during bull trends because everything goes up and it doesn't matter where Nexo or uh, BlockFi or any of these other platforms are putting the money. Most probably the money, the, the value of that money will go up. Uh, but during uh, downtrends, it's a whole different game, guys. It's actually the opposite. So if they invest in something and that something goes wrong, then the money they have in there, which is of course your and my money and elsewhere, everyone else uh, money, it will be locked because it will be in problem. And the problem, the major issue here is that we don't know if eventually they're gonna be able to fix their issues or if they're gonna be going broke. So what did I do? And uh, this is not financial advice, but currently what did I do? So I don't know what's gonna be going happening with Void here. Uh, or Celsius, and I don't know if that contagion will get to BlockFi and Nexo. Uh, and while I love Nexo, I love the yields, I love the, the, the easiness of their platform, uh, and I love that, that they compound every day as opposed to BlockFi. Um, I wouldn't love to be stuck in the situation like the guys uh, who have money in Celsius or Voyager. So I actually took almost all of my money out of the platform. Uh, I took all my money out of BlockFi, uh, and most, like, I'd say 90% out of uh, Nexo, and um, actually have that in 
safe stable coins. So if you don't know which ones are safe stable coins, we have a video for you up there where we discuss this. Uh, so right now my money is sitting in the sidelines in some Binance and it's actually earning some right, reasonable yield, uh, which is between 10 and 2%, depending on how much money you have there. But if there is a stable company, in my impression, in the crypto space, is Binance. Now, the safest thing, quote unquote, you could do is actually take your money off the crypto space in, in its entirety and send it back to your bank. But guys, banks are known to go broke too. And if you're sending that money to a US bank, for example, like Wells Fargo, where I bank, I'll, I would not be entirely covered by the FDIC if Wells Fargo goes broke. And we don't know what's gonna be happening in the, in the coming months. So um, always, guys, try to diversify your risk. Uh, don't put your entirety of, um, of money in one platform. Um, and right now, I'd rather not earn yield or earn a much less yield than uh, I would in one of those platforms until I know what's going to be happening with those companies. So if someone, you know, like my mom or a close friend was asking me, what should I do? I would tell them uh, it's better to keep your money protected than have it uh, in one of these platforms. Now, guys, if you want the safest thing to do, put it in, in your own wallet. As, again, guys, not your keys, not your money, right? Or not your crypto. So the safest thing to do is put everything in your wallet. Uh, and um, we don't know what's gonna be happening with Bitcoin. You can put it in safe, uh, in safe stable coins. Again, we have that video for you. Uh, so right now, it's much better to sit on the sidelines and see what happens, uh, how all these platforms evolve in time as, uh, you know, they try to restabilize. So I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, don't forget to like it and to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning how to properly invest like Silicon Valley investors would. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.